we are. Hi. Whenever I zoom in like this, yes. Apart from the title saying what is going to happen here, when I zoom in like this, showing new feet, <laughs> orchid feet, this is Dendrobium lorimortima. It is go time because this pot has not been addressed for three years and the orchid isn't looking too happy either. But never mind, if I got it wrong with the leka, then I will switch to lava. There's only one way to find out, and that is to get into the pot. And thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate your company. I got this orchid as mislabeled. I wanted a samurai. Thank you, Michael McCarthy. Early days on my channel, he went about and identified probably 30% of my collection, which turned out to be mislabeled. Oh, you know what? Before, let me finish that thought. Michael McCarthy identified this orchid for me. It is not a samurai, it is a Lori Mortimer. Even though I have not changed my tag yet. But here we are. Um, the reason I'm saying oh, is because the pot is rock hard, but I am anticipating the orchid and the roots itself themselves are gonna be rubbish. So I'm surprised at how hard it is to squeeze this pot. But I do believe the roots are rubbish. Oh boy. Mucho rubbish. You. Yeah. Okay. We had some good roots there for a while. But the whole root system has to reactivate and rejuvenate. These are all dead. Another dendrobium objecting to Leca. Or let me qualify that. Another dendrobium telling me that how I am working with the Leca and the Dendrobium is not working. And I have not had the courage as of yet to make those necessary adjustments because mainly when this happens, there's already high noon. The orchid is going to fail if I keep experimenting. And what I need to do is get the orchid to revive, recover, grow well again, and then I can experiment, but not under these circumstances. All of this leka has to come out. This whole orchid is going to be just its canes and the rest is going to be the new root system which is starting now. Still, I was very surprised at how rock hard the pot was. I have also no intention of changing the pot size even though all the roots are going to be gone and there are more canes because now that I see this, I am going to have to go in next year and assess just to make sure that using lava rock and self-watering is going to be a much better environment for this dendrobium. The other dendrobiums that we switched the setup on, they're doing fine. I haven't seen any new root growth but they're doing fine. I don't see much of a decline in the canes. One little new growth is doing well. So I'm going to do the same thing for the Lori Mortimer because clearly I got it wrong. I got the percentages wrong. Leka opposed to roots, flushing and all of that. I would love to go and put it right back into Leka because clearly for a while the roots were doing really well. There's nothing wrong with the old root system except now it's dead. But while it was growing, you can see she wasn't unhappy. So there's two factors I can consider as to why this happened. A, I kept her too wet over the winter. She's being a warm to hot grower and my climate isn't conducive to warm to hot growers in the winter because of the evaporative cooling of the leka and that reduces the temperature in the pot considerably, even though maybe ambient temperatures are somewhat on the margin, just about. What happens in the pot, the temperature, it's much, much cooler than what the ambient temperature says. And that is why I believe, for the most part, that the dendrobiums were not happy. They will do well during the summer months, these hotter months now, they will do well. They will grow roots. As you can see, it had a brand new root system in the pot for several months, but then collapse, collapse central. 
And I believe that with lava rock, I can tweak that because I can flush to keep the lava rock either moist or a little on the drier side. And that is why she is not going to be experimented on because if I want this orchid around next year, I think my bets are higher to succeed if I put her into lava rock and treat her a little bit differently. Lava rock also doesn't get as cold in the winter around the roots as much as Lekka does. So I'm going to continue just peeling away. I can be really radical. I don't have to worry about breaking any roots. The nubbins have just started. And this is going to look like sticks with two new little feet coming out when I'm done. I'll be right back. <laughs> I was about to go all ninja on the root system and then I remembered, oh wait, I love seeing old roots come off, making room for the new. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna put the camera on and if anybody else is the same as me that loves to see a root ball that looks nasty cleaned up and the orchid comes all of a sudden, even though she might just look like a bunch of sticks, well, this is for you. <laughs> And that would be it, stop messing about. Don't go further than necessary. My sprayer. And then we're going to pot her up. Stop it. <laughs> you can see where I'm going. I'm gonna ruin the two roots that I have left. <laughs> Fresh pot. Let's get you sorted out. <laughs> Now, normally I am not an advocate of lava rock in a pot that needs to be checked in a year's time. Lava rock is so unforgiving on roots. But for the sake of this orchid, I don't see any other point in going up the pot size. And if the orchid is doing well, then I may not need to go in after a year. Just depending on how she grows, is she going up against the pot with a new growth? You know, that would be ideal. But then it's just a question of hopefully getting the roots gently out and potting her up in a bigger pot. But normally I would not recommend lava rock if a repot is necessary in a year's time. Well, that was a wonky support, goodness me. <laughs> I'll straighten this out and we'll get to repotting. I'll see you again just now. <laughs> right. Here we are. Let's get some lava rock in there. And yes, the loop is totally unnecessary. Absolutely unnecessary, seeing as there are no roots to protect. It is just now me pursuing a habit. Very difficult to change a habit of repotting, in my opinion, at least in my case. Now I have to find the loop. If I don't do it consistently all the time, every time, without making an exception as to why not this time and why the other times. And because lava rock is so heavy, I really want to get into the habit of making sure that I make a repot as gentle as possible. And there's my loop. Let's get some lava rock in and underneath that. There we go. And I want it high enough to be able to avoid having to spray and mist all the time as the new growth comes out. I want to make sure that I don't mess that up. I'm also going to put a wire there before I put the orchid in, because she clearly has absolutely no roots left. So we're going to take care of the support that she needs without having to jiggle the plant and the support afterwards. At least that wire's in place and everything else I can do when I see how tight I have to pull it around her. I'm here, you. Let's see, let's see. I mean, if I'm lucky, 
I have two years. You see there's that growth. If I'm lucky, I have two years. And if I'm happy, then two years it'll be. So I'm going to fill on the opposite side of where the roots are and then maneuver the lava around to the front. Just don't want to bash those root tips. If I've already snipped one, then that's not good. I'm going to now actually already tie the orchid to the support because that is just one big gobbledygook of wobble. We'll do this as a preemptive measure. Are you going to stay? Yeah. And then I'll just fill around on the other side. I can see where I snipped that root. There's a little piece of green. What a shame. All right, well, we have one good root growing and I'm hoping that the new growth will provide us with another new, new root or maybe four. So seeing as that's already compromised, there we go. And I'm going to leave a little bit of the lava away from the top because once the root grows, all the roots, they can find their way into the depths of the pot without having to climb over any lava rock. And then eventually I will fill around the base with lava rock and then complete the process. Uh, she still feels a bit wobbly, but once she's in her situation, in her location, where she's going to stay, she'll be okay. I won't have to worry. Seeing as I have absolutely no roots, and I want to encourage new roots to go down, I'm going to fill up the reservoir a lot, a lot higher with just plain RO water. No fertilizer, no need, no roots. And then the, actually the pot itself displaces the water in the reservoir and raises it up even a, to a higher level. This way the roots should hopefully be encouraged by the humidity that is beneath them and go down into the pot. I'm going to clean up now. We're going to go over to the other two dendrobiums that I did this with and uh, you can see for yourself as a little update if they are looking worse or better. This is not Lori Mortimer clearly, but Renanthera citrina looking fabulous. Just thought I'd show you that because Lori Mortimer is now situated right back here on the west side of my blooming alley. You can see I can monitor the roots pretty well and if I need to flush her, I'm going to be able to lift her out just over the edge there, flush, and put her back with minimum disturbance or I can just mist her in situ. And here on my east side are the other two dendrobiums that I've done this with into lava rock. I had no roots. I had that new growth coming. They objected to the leka as well, or again, let me qualify that, they objected to the way I handled them with leka. I'm sure they would do fine with leka, but now is not the time to experiment, but I'm seeing some root nubbins growing down into the base there. They get misted on the daily, and the gyrac horn here is not doing much of anything. I don't see much decline in the canes. There's no new growth coming yet but this is how it's going to be. I'm not going to move that one again. But you see what I mentioned about lava rock. These guys can be in these pots for years and years and years. Then I don't mind if I have a strong plant. I can take off the back when I get to potting them up again. Do you see there's plenty of time not to disturb roots. Uh, with a Lori Mortimer, if she recovers and does well, two years and then we'll have to reassess the situation regarding the size of the pot. Anyway, if you've made it this far, I want to say thank you so very much for joining me, your company, your time, everything is so very much appreciated. And I hope that you all have yourselves a wonderful day. If you have any questions that I didn't qualify during this video, please feel free to ask away in the comments below. Take care and stay safe. Bye.